Well, one thing is for certain, if you own a tractor or equipment and you use it, you're going to be filling it up. That's exactly what we're doing this morning. Welcome back, folks. Beautiful morning out here, getting a bit of an earlier start. Not too, too early, but oof, a bit of an earlier start. We're going to fill up here and then we're going to do some cleanup. If there's something I can admit to that I put off an awful lot, that is cleaning up. And I'm just talking about cleaning up debris on trails, brushing trails, getting wood picked up, tools picked up. If you've seen my shop at all, probably is a good reflection of some of my challenges. So we're going to get the landscape rake on here. It's a relatively new, uh, new thing for me. And we're going to clean up right in front of the shop, which is where I'm standing. There's a whole bunch of debris, whole bunch of um, wood shavings, if you will, from using the log peeling disc. We're going to clean that up. Then we're heading out to where that log building is. We're going to take down some ferns with that landscape rake in uh, hopes that we can weed out some of the debris that's hiding there. I want to cut it with a lawnmower. All I have is like a riding lawnmower, but I want to cut that area so it's a bit cleaner and a bit more open. You don't want to just start running over ferns and debris that you can't see with a lawnmower or you'll break it. Eventually I'd like to have a flail mower, but I don't have one obviously. So we're going to use the landscape rake. We'll clean up here today. But first things first, let's uh, dump some fuel in. And unfortunately for me, you'll notice the color. This is highway diesel. I don't have anywhere near me that sells dyed diesel. Dyed diesel, if you're not familiar, off-road diesel. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit cheaper. You don't have to pay certain taxes you would with the highway diesel, but I need it, so I paid for it. I think right now the price I just paid is a dollar, about a dollar fifty a liter Canadian, and so if you can imagine, I think this is a twenty-liter container. I'm pouring a fair bit of, fair bit of money away right now. Good work return though. Anyways, welcome back. Here we go. Well, I didn't know I was still filming, but uh, I just got a phone call for a car repair. I have another car kicking around here and uh, I don't use it much. And anyways, I let it sit over the winter and sure enough, things weren't going too well and I need it. That was the mechanic, four brakes uh, complete. So rotors, calipers, uh, brake pads, obviously. So all the parts for that. And then a wheel bearing and the muffler needed a, a flange. Uh, it rusted right off and I knew that and what else did the gentleman say there? Uh, A-arm bushing all that combined. I am at $3,800 and the worst part is on the weekend. I was cutting my grass I put a stone through the rear window on that exact car. So now it's pretty much a clunker, but it's not that old Anyways, I better get back to work 
All right, just as we get ready to actually do some landscape raking, let's have a look at what I'm going to be using. So this right here, if you haven't been around the channel, is the MK Martin. This is a seven foot landscape rake. This one has articulation left and right. And I also have these depth gauge wheels on it. Now these depth gauge wheels, what it does is it allows it to ride over the surface of the ground without going too deep into the ground. Now you could go without these if you want. These are an option. This came from Farmer Equipment Sales. I will uh, put the link to where this is from in the description of this video. But as I said, this articulates left and right. If you didn't have these gauge wheels on, you could also rotate it 180 degrees. And therefore the curvature there on the tines would be facing backwards. So you could push material as opposed to pulling it. I'm gonna be pulling it and I'll have it in this uh, 90 degree angle here where it's just pulling it straight. I may end up angling it at some point. There's a bunch of different angle settings you can set it at. Now, my particular model has a hydraulic angle feature to it. And so this is hooked up to my rear remotes. And inside the cab, I have a, have a joystick to control this. So I can articulate it left and right. If you don't have the hydraulic cylinder option, uh, the standard option is you have a pin here and you can see all these holes, right? and uh, that goes both ways so if you rotate it all the way around you'd be using these holes in this setting you use these holes so that's what we're using here today i'm going to pull all the material that's all these wood shavings up that way and eventually down the trail to where i have a little bit of a pile but for the most part i just need to clean up this area because it is not very useful at this point and i'm not going to be debarking any more logs in the uh, near future so we'll get her cleaned up here we go Alright folks, we left the shop. The shop was left in good shape. Everything's cleared away. As you can tell, there was quite a bit of debris there. There is months and months of wood shavings from making this project here behind me. So when I was debarking or peeling these logs, I did all of that, at least most of it, up there at the shop. And so all of that debris got swept away and put up into a bit of a brush pile that I'll deal with another day. Now one of the key features I find with this landscape rake that I really like is that articulating feature. You guys can see I have it angled right now. This angle allows me to take the debris and once I get it close to where I'm gonna deposit it like that brush pile, I angle it 
and then I can keep driving straight and it sort of funnels to the left and off the main trail. If this uh, stayed at 90 degrees square to the tractor, I would end up having to go back and push it uh, with the loader and I don't have to do that as much with it angled. So I do like that feature. Another thing I do like is that hydraulic uh, control. So that articulation control from inside the cab, that's very nice. I can uh, go left or right with the articulation or I can go straight ahead and I don't have to get out of the tractor. Now uh, I may or may not have needed these today. What I find with those gauge wheels is they do a very good job at a sort of finish pass. Now I was just getting the bulk of the material out of there today and so it wasn't as big of a, a necessity we'll say but uh, worked out nonetheless. Now we're out here at our second location I want to clear out just a little bit. As I mentioned before, this is where uh, we're going to be having some implements stored, probably some equipment and some other things going on. And I want a little bit more space in front of the building. And so you'll notice here I have this area. There's some debris in it. I can't exactly come through here with a lawnmower without getting rid of some of the debris. The trouble is there's a lot of, uh, you know, little saplings popping up and there's all kinds of ferns and who knows what else on the ground here, little pieces of wood. And so the landscape rake is really good at helping me clear that stuff away. Now some of it, which is a bit bigger that I can't drive over, like the firewood pile, that will get uh, pushed out of the way with the root rake, which we'll put on in a moment. Then once that's out of the way, we'll come through and we'll do a few sweeping passes. I've already done one here. And uh, once that is taken care of, it should look like this. It'll dry out a little bit. And then eventually I can come through with a lawnmower and uh, just keep cutting it and eventually it will stay clear sort of like this little patch over here now here's the root rake we're going to put on this is a 66 inch hla root rake uh, one of these can be got from the same spot as the landscape rake so farmer equipment sales sells these as well um, this particular model has a guard that goes with it right here to protect the hydraulic cylinder i just haven't got around to putting it on but you'll see that very very soon this thing's been around the block and come back. Great, uh, great implement for me. This works really well, as I mentioned, at giving me the option to pick things up like the firewood. That's exactly what we're gonna do.
All right, guys. Well, we took care of that little tract of land here in front of the uh, the log structure behind you. Now, the root rake is uh, a great tool to pick up larger stuff. As you can see, I took the root rake, picked up the rounds, the firewood rounds, moved some of the logs with it. But one of the things with the root rake, if you try to clear an area like this with only this, is that the spacing between the tines is quite large. And so you will miss out on some smaller stuff. Unless, of course, you dig right down and take the whole soil layer. Now, uh, the landscape rake comes in and it gets the remaining small stuff right out of there, which is quite nice. You'll notice that there's just a few little twigs sticking up left over, but the landscape rake really took out some small saplings, any leftover debris on the ground, dragged it over to one area, which you saw right here. Then the, the root rake pushed it out of the way. Now, if I didn't have those gauge wheels on the back of the landscape rake, I would just turn the landscape rake around, push the debris in there, but because they're on there, the root rake uh, did the job and uh, that's how that worked out. Now, one thing you'll notice here, I had the landscape rake angled. For those of you who are wondering why I didn't change it, it's because this is powered, the hydraulic cylinder is powered off the rear remotes, which is the same way that the root rake is powered. And so I can only have one of them hooked up at a time. I left the root rake hooked up. I disconnected the landscape rake in a perfect world back here, I'd have some sort of a T fitting so I could have both, uh, both of my implements running off the same rear remotes, but I'm not there yet. So overall, great day. If you guys have any questions about the root rake back here, uh, excuse me, the root rake up there or the landscape rake back here, please let me know down in the comments. I've got another video with this and uh, this has proven to be a very valuable tool. So feel free to ask. You guys all take care out there. Get outside, enjoy nature and all. See you next time.